owl friends so today i am going to be talking about which ghost gives you the most candy in royal high so let's get right into today's video woohoo yeah So, when you first go into the haunted house, you want to grab a ghost gun right here. Then you want to grab night vision goggles and headlamps. And after you grab those, guess what? You're ready to go ghost busting. So you want to go to the door icon and go through the door. And now you'll be over here where there's a bunch of ghosts. But now the question is, which ghost gives you the most candy? Well, let's go over the ghost. It matters on the size of the ghost. What type of ghost it is. So this right here, this is what we like to call a small ghost. It only takes up 10% of the vacuum and only gives you 10 candies. So I recommend going after that one for practice and stuff. Okay, so this, this is a medium-sized ghost, and you want these ghosts. These ghosts are really good, okay? So I recommend those. Next, these types of ghosts. You don't want to go after these types of ghosts. You know why? Because they are really hard to catch because they're pretty fast, and they barely give you any candy. Okay, I'm just capturing a ghost right here. So, this uh, ghost gives me like 38 pieces of candy, so I recommend going after those. So, the one that you want to go after, it's not here right now because it's pretty rare, so I'm just going to go over the big ghost and talk about it. So, don't ever go for the big ghost, ever. Because you'll waste a lot of ammo on it because they're really hard to capture and they have a lot of health and stuff. And guess what? You don't get anything because they fill up the whole vacuum making it so you have to release them because you have no more room in the vacuum for other ghosts. Or for the ghost itself, because it takes up more than 100% of the vacuum. And that just makes me mad. So I'm um, going around, and here's the big ghost. Don't go after that one. Aha! Here is the ghost you want to go after. So this ghost actually gives you 72 pieces of candy. It is a bit hard to capture, but still it's worth it in the end, because you get 72 pieces of candy. And I would usually waste more time getting the little ghosts. So, yeah. I recommend getting these and stuff. And so, I want to capture it just to show you. So, it does take a lot of ammo. And it has a lot of health. Not as much as the big ghost. <laughs> but it's worth it in the end. I think I'm going to go and run out of ammo. Wait. Maybe not. I'm trying to capture this one. So, the trick here is since the ghosts can like go through walls, I recommend like remembering each room. So, I remember that this is like the bedroom. Okay, boom. And so that's how I know which uh, room the ghosts are in. Okay, I'm capturing this ghost. So, it takes 45 seconds. They usually take up 50% of the vacuum, so if you do have like 60% of the vacuum taken up and stuff, like you captured other ghosts and, oh look, 72 candies, but anyway, if you took up 60% of the vacuum because you captured other ghosts, and then you try and capture the big one, which gives you 72% of candy, or 72 candy handy then you will see what happens you will lose the ghost and the 72 candy because there won't be enough room in the vacuum so it really matters on how much room you have in the vacuum so yeah make sure you have enough room for those types of ghosts the big ones which take a while to capture 
So, owl friends, if you do have a ghost in your vacuum and stuff, and it's taking up a bunch of room, then you go over to the ghost return. And this ghost return is actually where you get your guns. And now you go and you click on unload vacuum. And now I have already unloaded my vacuum. And so now I am ready to go and capture more ghosts. But anyway, owl friends, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to check out my channel and ring that notification button. And I'll see you, owl friends, in the next video. And I ran out of ammo. No! Now I have to go and refill it. Bye.